November. I like this time of year, this fall in New England, when in the woods the leaves have fallen and life has been peeled away to reveal the bare bones of the world. The skeleton of the land is laid for it, and the contours of the land, the new land, are shown in hidden relief. The hollows, the lines, the bunching and piling up of the world, the lichen-covered rocks and hard lines on the landscape. It's much less ambivalent, much more straightforward. Grays and browns reveal in their simpler palette. It's a committed landscape, a harsh landscape, a landscape for true believers, a landscape of hardness well fought and well won. It shows uncovered the traces of man's work in his ceaseless attempts to transform the world. It shows his blunders and works, as always, subsiding into the leaf gray mold covered ground. It's a beautiful time, full of stark and beautiful vistas, and perfect lines, and perfect venues, and perfect portraits. It's a time when nothing grows but heaven flourishes. It's a time of cleanliness, and crispness, and lack of clutter. A clear time, a perfect time.